Here's the grain I'm going to use for today's waffles. It's all the ones I've shown in the previous video about the grains I use. And you can see uh, I got different types. Uh, this is the wheat on top, a little bit of oats. Um, that's the percentages, guys. There you go. Got the sexy black rice in there. Kamut down there. All kinds of good stuff. So I'm going to grind it all up here, and then I'll show you what I'm going to do next after that. I mean, probably I don't need to show you how I grind it. That's just pouring it in there, so we'll just move on to the next spot. We have here our liquids for the uh, waffles. So in here is the uh, eggs and oil. You can see that amount about. Let's go take a look in there. And the vanilla, of course, in there. So I got uh, coconut water with pineapple. That really makes it taste nice. You don't need that much of it. Just about like that. Some dollops. And then I have this uh, plant-based buttermilk. Millet brand. Um, it's got a bunch of good stuff in it. Uh, sorghum flour, millet flour. It's pretty cool has a uh, good rise in potential technologies. So we'll pour that in there. All right. Put some milks in there. There we go. All right, here's the uh, fruit for the Waffles. I like putting fruit in the batter, and I just add the uh, spices, sweet spices, right to the uh, to the yeah to the berry mixture and stuff. So then you can kind of get those two flavors mixed in your finished product, and it tastes way better. Just the usual stuff: cloves, cinnamon, stevia, allspice, and the final one here is. Some nutmeg. Ooh, I like nutmeg. All right, we'll just toss those and get them all nice and mixed with the melting freezer fruit. I mean, you can use fresh fruit too, but freezer fruit's really convenient. Ooh, yeah, that's nice. All right. Got some blood orange. So that's like the uh, thing you had last. It's a uh, alcohol, so it will be another risent, and you want to put that in last once you've mixed everything together. So there we go. Um, we can just uh, put the fruit in last after we mix the flour and this together. So I'll grind the flour, and then we'll move on to the next step. Put some uh, flowers in there. It's kind of hard to do it the way I just did it. Most people don't do that. Yeah, I assume so. That looks kind of difficult. That's annoying as hell. Don't do it that way. But I'm doing it anyways. <laughs> yes, you just have a giant tub that you're pouring into a bowl. It's only for plus size model hands to do. All right, it's about thick enough. Then we'll add our delicious sweet country cream. Oh, I love this orange alcohol. Oh, it smells so good. Mm, nice water damage in the roof up there. Very beautiful. Yeah, hey, don't focus on that. We're rich and famous. All right, uh, blood orange and apple alcohols. Cask aged. We're gonna put that in there. Spice and fruit should really mix good into the batter. With some super pancakes, uh, waffles we're making, whatever. Same thing. All right. We'll come over here. We'll uh, put it in our diamond waffle mix from 
2007 Sears catalog. Beautiful. I'm just going to clean this real quick. Oh, look at that waffly goodness. Don't want to get too much fruit in with it. Got to get the other stuff too. There we go. Let it fill up all nice and tight and taut and off. And then check this out. You flip it. And then it starts to fluffy rise and heat. I mean, it takes a little while because it makes such big waffles. But man, it really cooks in the diamond perfection. And you get a pretty perfect waffle here in another three to five minutes or whatever. So we'll see you then. once I flip it back around let the ready light turn off for a little while and let it cook on the right side and then I flip it open look at that beautiful waffle that's perfection all right we'll peel it off of there onto a juicy plate now these waffles are so big if you're a grown man you're only gonna need one of them so that's what we'll do we'll serve this one up to a grown man we don't even need to do a taste test and other delicious because we've made them so many times. I just dislike the one thing I dislike about this is um Damn that looks good. Never mind. Gotta have your whipped cream on there. Big dollop of that. Beautiful. Yeah, messy. And then put some uh, walnuts on there. And of course, maple syrup. Oh, yeah. This is pretty good. Mapley boys. There we go. Perfect. Mm.